You too, Poison Dark Frog Hobbyist. This is Bradley, and I'm here with another video for you guys. This is another update. Today is March 30th, 2017. I did my last update, I think March 25th. Just go back if you guys want to find out the exact date. So, we're going to see what's going on inside of the tank. I'm honestly amazed how fast these bromeliads are growing roots and how fast some of them are pupping. I have never seen such fast pupping in my life. So, you guys seen when this first started pupping, that was 15 days ago. I'm pretty sure my first video update was the 15th. So this guy has already grown about like two inches. It looks like it's about to start opening up pretty soon. Um, this one is rooting. That one. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Bear with me. Some. Let me lighten this up here. This guy's starting to root. And this was from the last set of bromeliads that I purchased. What are we doing? Let's darken. This guy right here isn't really, this little mini isn't really doing too much, but it's starting to show some roots. As well as this one up here. This one is starting to root. So everything in here in this tank is doing fairly well. See these, I don't know, like this, up here is, this is too light see these little green grassy looking things they seem to be getting they seem to be growing they look like some type of moss but we're definitely getting things popping up here let's go to the next side This is starting to grow. Well, starting to uh, get some roots. That little guy is starting to pop like right there. There's a pup there. That brom is starting to get more color. And this one, all the way in the back, right there. It's coloring, but I'm pretty sure it's going to start dying off because it did not have a stalling and it's not rooting. Let's go to the tank floor here. Let's zoom out. Let's focus. That Magravia is starting to grow. As you can see, it's real. It's a real healthy green. Just look at it. See how healthy that is? The roots are starting to get into the dirt, into the substrate, and it's starting to attach itself and climb the background. These are starting to climb the background as well. This is a peperonia, peperonia, peperomia. Please correct me. This is starting to, to travel pretty well. It's looking really good. These begonias, I'm pretty sure they're gonna they're going to uh they're gonna start making their their way pretty soon. But they're not doing anything right now. I'm going to move on 
to the next vivarium. And here is the second vivarium. Let me inform you guys that the drainage system is working. I have water in the bucket that catches all of the drain water. Okay, so as we can see, there's some rootage, rooting, and well, on this bromeliad up here. This one, I don't really see any rooting on. It's not really much, there's not really any rooting there. This big guy, who was one of the last, is definitely starting to root. I'm not going to move the camera all the way low to show you guys, but there's definitely, there's definitely rooting there. Woo, look what we have here, another pup. This guy is rooting. I wish I could get in closer on this. Let's see if I could go a little bit closer. Show you guys the pup in here. There's a, a small pup. This is a, a very small bromeliad. This is the pup right here. You can't really see it too well. For lighting it up. That's as good as it's going to get. That guy's popping. This bromelia here is starting to root. It's starting to root right here. Um, this nice big bromelia can try. We're getting some rooting there. Lighten up the situation. There you go. See that root there? There you go. So, for the most part, I'm still waiting on some more bromeliads that have not come yet. I'm waiting on some moss slurry that has not come yet. Let's go down to the terrestrial portion of this vivarium. Now here, I'm going to have to replant this because nothing is going on here. This soil is too dry on the side, so I'm going to have to saturate that with water. Because everything is, everything is just looking horrible down here. So I definitely have to replant the magravia. I didn't really take the time out or try to really plant this, but this stuff over here, I'm starting to see roots there. The begonia hair is starting to root. That'll just start popping up everywhere. And this is died off, but... Like I said, I'm just going to take the time when I get the time to fix everything. Well, that is it for the most part. Until next time, like, don't dislike, comment, subscribe, and enjoy your frogs. Thank you.